Okay, when it comes to the, sh the ship itself, I was going to paint it white, um, because that's what it seems like the box shows in the finished version of their model. But you know what? I like this color gray that the ship is modeled in. And it's really close to the actual gray that it's supposed to be. So I'm actually going to keep the molded plastic, the ship, this color. And when it comes to the insides, then I'll paint the inside um, a darker darker gray but I do like the plastic coloring for the outside of the ship so I'm gonna go and what I'm gonna do is the saucer section um, needs to be the first thing so I'm gonna go ahead I'm gonna paint do the detail painting on it and get that out of the way and then I'll start the deck sections on the inside Okay, so I went ahead and I painted the detail on the top half of the saucer section. And I painted the detail on the bottom half of the saucer section. Um, what I think I'm going to do is I think I'm going to take them off the tree and I think I'm going to put them together. I'm going to tape them underneath and I'm going to put the decals on. on that way there, um, the decals will be all set and they'll be all set. Uh, to put onto the secondary hull when the time comes, it'll be completely done. Um, this being said, I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to take them off here, trim them, and I'm going to put the decals on. So, like I told you in the last um, segment of the video, I did do the detail work on the halves of the saucer section. Um, but what I wanted to do was, because I want to light the model, um, I went ahead and I used a silver acrylic, um, both to reflect the light inside, but to block it coming through from the hull. I don't know if you hold up to the light, you can see the, the difference, but what I want to do is I want to block out as much as the light as possible coming from inside the hull and I want it to be coming through the section that's going to be the decks. I want it to be coming through that exclusively and I'm gonna see if, uh, if I can light the bridge. But what I wanna do is, I wanna prep the primary hull. Once that's dry and that's all prepped, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put the stickers on and the primary hull will be just about finished. I gotta just have to work on the lighting. Well, I got to work on a decks, but the shell of the hull uh, will be done. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint the framing network with all the decks and stuff. And I like the color of the ship, the outer skin, um, so I'm going to keep that color and I'm going to make this darker. Uh, I'm probably going to make this either black or dark gray. I think it would look better like that. And I'm going to have to use the um, the paint gun because you know a paintbrush will take forever and it won't really get in all the crevices that I want to get in because to make this as detailed as possible. So we'll give it a coat and see what it looks like. Alright so I go on ahead and I sprayed it. Um, I'm probably going to just, one coat should be enough. Um, it came out pretty good. And what I did was I sprayed, I'm not going to use this shield behind this, um, but I'm going to use this in the other hull, the other half, um, to close it off and make it look neater. But it's, I'm going to wait for this to dry and then I'll start doing the detail work. And that thing in the, that core in the middle is pretty cool. I don't know if that's going to be a silver or a red, but the frame is starting to take shape. All right, so I've gone and I put in some of the detail uh, in the frames in the primary hull decks. Um, I put the base coat black, 
and I tried to highlight what I thought would be little rooms and little objects in the rooms. Um, I don't know if that can zoom in for you, but I tried to get little rooms. Um, but it's, it's so small, it's tough to get the brush in. Um, I did get some of the detail work in. And the background is going to go on, and the background is going to help a lot to bring out some of the stuff. All right, so what I done was I went ahead and I did the detail work um, on the cross-section piece. And I took the decal sheet and I trimmed it down and I attached it to the back so it would show up when I when I put it through and when I light it. Um, the thing is, it's really thick. Um, I'm hoping that there's enough light that comes through it. But as you can see, I went ahead and I put the bridge on and it's all detailed and I'm going to attach it to the bottom part of the hull and then I'm going to put the lights in. Um, the other part of the hull, the other half, I already glued together. So it's, it's all set. So I'll give you an update when I'm ready to uh, put the lighting and finish the lighting. All right, so I went ahead and I glued the cross section on to the lower part of the saucer section. And as you can see, like the other model, I took parts of the uh, extra plastic or the trees and I made little bases um, for the lights to be cemented to, just to hold them in place. So, you know, because if you just put tape, eventually they could let go and, you know, they could be out of position. And um, we put these in and it's good to go ahead and check your lights. Um, so these are going to be working. And they're going to be lighting the background of the cross section for the um, primary hull. So those are looking pretty good. So now we can probably go ahead and we can close up this half of the primary hull. Okay, so I went ahead and I glued the top half of the half of the saucer section or primary hull and I got a clamp and I'm waiting for it to dry and when it's dry what I'm going to do is I'm going to put them together and then I'm going to put the decals on um, Then I'll be pretty much completed with the primary hull but I'm going to let this dry and then I'll give you guys an update. Okay, so I went ahead there. Both halves of the primary hull are glued. They're in place. Um, the decals are on and the detailing paint has been painted. You can see the, the bottom. Now those of you who haven't done this model before, um, the pieces go together where you know they go together, but um, the halves, if you're expecting like a perfect um, enterprise to be there, <laughs> that's just, just not going to happen. Um, you can see, I'll take this apart for you. I put this, there's a, a piece came with this that was going to go behind that in the event that you didn't want to put, um, you didn't want to paint. There was a backing for that that you would put the decal on. If you're going to make this model, you might want to go ahead and do yourself a favor. Take that backing and put it in this section, in this half um, of the main source of the primary hull. 
because it, this is going to hold the shape and without it holding the shape it really it's going to squish together and it, it's going to be difficult to get to fit into that section but this section um, being complete now let me go ahead and light it up for you Don't mind that, that's the light on the bottom. But this is, uh, the bridge is lighting up. And I got uh, sections lit up that I'll show you guys better when the model's finished. But it's getting there. And that concludes the primary hull. So the primary hull is done. And I'm going to start working on the next section, which is the secondary hull.